Hi guys, this is Divine Irony again from Ghost and Zio. We are in the Shadowfan Keep today. And the reason we're doing a speed run of Shadowfan Keep, no, this isn't a soloing run, it is a gold farming run. Now you're probably thinking, what is that a gold farming in Shadowfan Keep? It's a level 19 instance. Well, all you're going to get here is wool cloth, some greens, nothing really good here at all, maybe some f few silver. But the reason we're farming here is because this place has two of the best blue swords that you can sell in the auction house. The two swords are called Assassin's Blade and Shadowfang. Now these swords sell for between 1,500 to 3,000 gold depending on server and depending on auction house. Now I'm not going to lie to you, the swords are rare. But the good thing about this is Shadowfang Keep only takes between 5 to 10 minutes to solo. You have five chances of doing this per hour, and if you have two characters, you can continually do this. Now, the reason why we only started looting the mobs here is because before the, the before this place, there isn't anything on the mobs on the mobs to loot. So we're just going to loot some of these things at the moment. Even if you don't get Assassin's Blade, you can get some other BOE blues. Any of the other BOE blues to drop here can actually sell for above 50 gold, so it's actually pretty nice to do here. It's not um, good enough to farm here for, but we're, remember, we're here for Assassin's Blade and Shadowfang. Now, Assassin's Blade and Shadowfang have had the drop rate reduced quite a bit now, so they are re rare, and I mean really rare. But the good thing is that even if it takes you 20 tries to get one, that's still only 2 hours, maybe a 3 hours to do it, and that's 3,000 gold. So that's almost an epic flyer already. Basically, you can almost get an epic flyer just from doing Shadowfan Keep. Now, you're probably thinking with Twinks now with Patch 3.2, there isn't that many. Well, Assassin Blade is still selling. I saw one go on the AH for 3,500 gold, so you can sell it for more than 3,000 gold. And it did sell, I know the person who sold it. Now, I'm pretty sure that one of the blades, I think it's Shadowfan, can only drop if the boss is. So, if you don't see any by the end, it's probably, you're probably not going to get one. They'll probably be on one of these bosses or just on these random foot soldiers. Now the good thing is, even if you don't get anything, you'll actually probably get about two to three stacks of wool cloth. Now the wool cloth on my server is somehow going for two gold ninety nine, which you will probably get with ten gold a run. Now that's not really worth it for to spend ten minutes, but remember, we're going coming here for we need we need to be here for a while. So if even if you don't get it in twenty runs, it's still worth it because it's quicker than all the other it's still way quicker than dailies. You'll have to do dailies for must be 10 hours to get the same amount of money. Well, not even the same amount of money, just to get 1,000 gold. The reason that we're stopping and not pull, doing one big pull is because it's much harder to loot right at the end of the instance because you really don't want to have to go AFK, DC, and you lose everything you did in that run. So we're going to stop it for a bit every single time and just loot them. Now we're on to the end of the boss here, and unfortunately during this run we didn't get a shadow fang. I'm just showing you basically how to do it. I do recommend having two characters here just because you don't really want to have to go away for an hour and have to come back here again because it's such a pain in the ass. It's a good idea to have two characters, maybe even three characters, because all you need is level 40 at least just to solo this place. Some of the f tape skipped there for a bit, I don't know understand why. But um, yeah, if you want to do it, it's a good idea. And I've, um, I hope you like the tip. It is a really good place to farm. And thanks for watching.